Hello and welcome back to KC Reviews. Uh, today we are looking at the Papospinosaurus. Now as you can see the Papospinosaurus has some really, really good detail. Each skull individually sculpted. Look at those feet. Hands. The nice sickle claw. Right here you can see on the snout there's the nose. Now here you can see the articulation just like for old Papo dinosaurs is in the jaw. Pretty good size. Uh, look at that tongue, nicely sculpted as well. Each tooth individually painted. Just re look at that up top. You got the top of the jaw sculpted. Even under the tongue sculpted. Just really, really well done. Here's the eye. Again, there's the nostril. Look down the back, so you can see some scales. The cell right here. Look at that. Almost a crocodilian feature, it's something you see in the Schlake. Uh, the modern 2014 reconstruction is a crocodilian like tail. Some just really nice detail. The only thing that ever bugged me is the legs are so much different of a color as are the arms, but besides that, it's great. It does look like the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus, so if you're a fan of that series or that movie, it's great for that. Maybe not as accurate anymore, but overall, looks really well. Now if you want to see the size of the Spinosaurus compared to some other Papo figures, I'll do that. There's the Allosaurus. The running T-Rex. The green T-Rex. The Carnotaurus. And the brown T-Rex. So there you have it, the Papo Spinosaurus. It's one of my favorite figures. As the Spinosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs. It is my favorite dinosaur. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like the Papo figures. If you've collected any. And uh, what Papo figures you'd like me to review on the channel as well. So until next time.